right, everybody. So we're here in Dubai today at Baker's Kitchen with Sven, and he's going to tell us a little bit about sourdough and his history um, on why he came here and why he's a baker. So I'm going to give the floor to him. So Sven, thanks for having us today. Mm -hmm. So a big question is, how did you end up a baker? Why? Why baker? I came from a baker family. My father is a baker, was a baker, and we had our own bakery. Mm -hmm. My happiness mm -hmm. and my luck yeah. was always baking. Passion. It's passion. I'm yeah. in the morning excited to work in the next night. I'm in the next night excited to work in the next morning. Yeah. This kind of happiness I've never felt before. Yeah. So how did Baker's Kitchen happen? Um, Finally, I must say, I baked the whole time in my private facility for my friends and me. To do it professional was the idea of my wife. She's a professional chef okay. and sushi okay. master. And she said, darling, let's do what we love to do. Great idea. So, we stop, I make the project finish, we stop and I came back to baking. Okay. And so the start. Yeah. Let's talk about the start. So, from what I know, a complete novice, right? We're looking at flour, and we're looking at water, and we're looking at accumulating bacteria in that mix. Mm -hmm. Is that right? This is absolutely right. You need flour and water. Okay. Then you need everything what you have in mm -hmm. the air. Yeah. And a lot of microorganisms is still in the flour mm -hmm. and special enzymes. Mm -hmm. How old is the culture that you're working with here? My own oldest, yes. oldest culture, what I have done here, is now 15 years. Okay. The culture which was working even, what I froze always and take with me wherever I live in Germany, which I took when I was a student, is now how old I am? Oops. Uh, <laughs> around 35 years. Okay. And then I got from a fan, a good customer. We don't have customers, we have friends. Right. Uh, a culture from San Francisco. Mm -hmm from a Baker family of a generation, mm -hmm. which she told me is 185 years old. Wow. And so today, in this class today, we're going to learn about sourdough. We're going to make some bread, right? And hopefully go home with some. And, <laughs> and so can you just give us a quick overview of what we're going to do today? OK, today we make a spelt, whole grain spelt mm -hmm. olive bread. OK. What we do here, in three hours, mm -hmm. I teach you mm -hmm. how to do it in 24 hours yeah. at home. Yeah. The real way. With the fermentation. With the fermentation, yeah. three doughs, mm -hmm. some small tricks. Perfect. No issue. And we'll get started. Okay. Awesome. Thank you for Enjoy. your time. Thanks. Tito. Baking bread is not difficult. We are talking about a two ingredient product plus a few enhancers to make the magic happen. Flour and water is all we need to get our bread baking adventure started. In case of sourdough, we use a sourdough starter to improve the dough and to get a chemical reaction started. Sourdough bread goes through a fermentation process which makes it beneficial for gut health and therefore healthier. Anyone can bake bread. Even me. You can literally mix your flour, water and yeast and have a nice loaf of bread on your counter within about an hour and a half to two hours. The big difference with sourdough is to allow mother nature to do her thing and let fermentation take place. Sourdough is absolutely more time intensive. However, most of the time will be resting time for the dough to allow the development and improvement. Once your first step of mixing your four parts of flour with three parts of water is completed, you will need to give your dough about 12 hours of rest. How amazing is that? I wish I got 12 hours of rest. This happens at room temperature. I recommend mixing the dough in the evening so that you can let it rest overnight and you can get the next day started baking. Baking bread will require a bit of calculating, as all is based on the amount of flour used and the additional ingredients are added at a certain percentage. Sourdough starter would be added at 25%, dry yeast at 1%, 
and salt as a flavor enhancer at 2%. Any additional things like for our recipe here, we used olive oil, would in this case for this recipe be added at 10%. There are resting times in between every step of the way. So once you add your ingredients, there will be resting time for the dough in between every ingredient. Once you add your sourdough, you can give your dough about another three hours of rest. You will then add your dry yeast. That will again enhance the flavor and the consistency of the dough. Once you get better at baking, you can reduce the yeast and get rid of it altogether. After that is added, you give it about another hour. Then we move on to adding the salt. Now you want this as a flavor enhancer because without salt, it's going to taste very bland. Give it another hour um, after that to rest. After that, you can then move on to kneading the dough. And we have gotten our hands dirty already plenty of times. Now, when we're moving on to kneading, your arms and your hands are probably going to hurt. You knead by pulling and folding the dough over five to six times. After you're pulling and folding, you will let it rest 15 to 20 minutes in between turns. You want to do this four to five times and let it rest in between. If you have any um, ingredients in addition, so in our case that was olives, you would add that during your last fold. Then you move on to final forming of the bread. You absolutely can do a loaf of bread with everything you already have in the kitchen. You do not need to buy any specialty tools. Just use a regular kitchen bowl, a kitchen towel, and that will be a nice resting place for your dough to, uh, to kind of settle. So just take a bowl, take the kitchen towel and dust it with flour and you can rest your formed bread uh, and let it improve for minimum 15 minutes. Check it after about 15 to 20 minutes and let it rise to about twice its size. This can take up to 40 minutes depending on how warm your environment is. Check after about 15 minutes to see where the dough is. Once it bounces back, it's ready to go in the oven. Hooray! The recipe we're, we're following today will take about 45 minutes to bake. So after about 20 minutes in the oven, just check it, see what the color looks like, and maybe turn it if your oven doesn't heat properly or if it doesn't um, bake evenly, just to get a nice color all around. If you like your bread a little bit crispier or a little bit darker, it will not hurt to leave the bread in the oven for a little bit longer. A huge thank you to Sven and his team at Baker's Kitchen for having us and teaching us a new skill. If you are in Dubai or the UAE and you're interested to learn more about baking, I highly recommend looking up Baker's Kitchen for their classes. We will provide a link with Sven's and Baker's Kitchen information in the description and uh, he'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't, subscribe to our channel, ring the notification bell, leave a comment in the comment section down below, and smash that like button. See you in the next video.